haven't talked to you much this camp. What, yeah. How would you grade your progress from the last time we saw you, January, to where you are now? Uh, I think it's been a, I say a huge improvement in terms of my overall game and where I want to be at, where I'm leading towards. So I'm, I'm excited about where I'm at right now. You know, the goal is always to continue to get better as, as the season goes on. Last time I talked to you, you were trying to add weight, I think. Yep. How's that going? Great. No. Uh, I think last year I played for the most part around 244. Um, around 250 now, so I feel, I feel you good. you feel, feel the difference? Well, I actually, I played at 250 my last year at Penn State, so I, okay. I've been there before, so it's not that much of a difference. How's your role different in this defense versus last year? Uh, a little bit more versatile and doing a little more different things, which uh, I think through our OTAs and camp, I had the opportunity to get familiar with the, the whole defense. So I think right now I'm in a good spot in terms of being able to do a little bit of everything. Is there any real difference between an outside linebacker and a defensive end in this? Do y'all consider yourself different positions in this defense? Well, I, personally, I think it is the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's just the job is the same. I might be called differently, might be asked to do different uh, stuff depending on on um, what package win, but at the end of the day, uh, the, the job is still the same. So much was made about the need for this team to increase its pass rush. Coach Nielsen comes from a background with heavy pass rush, in terms mm -hmm. of specifically rushing the passer. What d differences have you noticed? Well, I think overall we kind of have a dynamic of like every uh, body style. We have different rushers, so it's not so much more uh, focusing on heavy rush or like speed rush. I think we have guys that can do a little bit of everything. So just coming together and feeding off each other, that's kind of what's going to help us throughout the season getting the job done. Last year you were built more for just speed rush. Is that kind of what, is that right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of Coach Nelson? He's a pretty intense fella. What is it? Coach Nelson's a pretty intense fella. Pretty, you talk about his intensity? Yeah. Oh well, he, he's intense. He's he gonna push us to bring the best out out of ourselves, uh, and I mean, he's gonna be pretty vocal about it. So, yeah, I, totally which is yeah. a good thing, especially on game day. Uh, we we kind of need that as players, uh, somebody who shows that level of intensity, and we definitely want to go out there and, and play for him. Thank you. You've, you've had some partnerships with some very talented players in mm -hmm. New Orleans, one of the very best. Mm -hmm. um, how has it been working with Troy? Kind of add, and we obviously know the physical tools yeah. that he has like, as a cheetah, but yeah. it's like, yeah. how, no like how has he been to work with? He's been awesome. Yeah. You know, like you said, I've, I've had a, a lot of really awesome vets. Now I'm a little bit older and some of them are out of the game, some of them are still in it. Damari over there, he obviously kind of leading that group, but some awesome, awesome players, Kiko, Kwan, Alex, AJ, the list goes on, whatever. Um, getting to learn from them and that's really kind of where I DeMario was big about he wanted to know how you were going to play it so he didn't have to wait for you to do it right. and um, obviously trying to trying to build that here Troy is so fast mm -hmm. and he's so explosive and he's strong he's got all the traits to be uh, one of the best and so um, getting to play with him getting to kind of you know work our way through it um, and it's, it's, it's been awesome and it's been exciting I'm really excited for him in this year and to to see everything that he's going to go and accomplish and you know I'm um, trying to go be the best linebacker duo in the league this year, and not just that, the best linebacker room with um, Tay, Nate, you know, everybody they decide to keep over here, um, trying to go make a, trying to go make plays, try to go be the best in the league, and um, you know, working with Troy has been awesome because he's so smart too. Maybe that's something that not a lot of people get to see, but he's really smart in how he uh, picks up football and how he uh, understands the game and how he processes the game is is really special. And so uh, getting to uh, getting to work with him has been awesome so far. I was talking to to, to uh, David mm -hmm. as well, and he was saying that. The way that you kind of see and process things helps him. Obviously, you know, like once his hands in the dirt, you can't, you can't really see a yeah. lot, right? Yeah. So in, in terms of the communication back and forth, right, as you get this defense on the same page, yep. how's that gone, and how kind of vital is that in your job as a whole? <laughs> it's, I mean, really look at it. Linebackers are kind of the, you know, the glue mm -hmm. of the defense, really, in my opinion, because you got the back end and coverage. And how are we going to play the pass game? Then you got the front end how are we going to play their run game and convert into stomping their pass up front. Right. And the linebackers have to be on the same page 
for both. Mm -hmm. We have to know how we're going to handle the run, run fits with the D-line, make sure they're on the same page, but we also got to handle the coverage on the back end. And we may be in the rush too, so we're kind of like, we got multiple jobs. So being able to communicate with our D-line, being able to be on the same page with them, pre-snap, know what's going to happen, but also talk, you know, someone move, this is a run key, this is a pass key, um, you know, running backs all of a sudden on this side, what does that mean? Just being able to, you know, quick little tips, quick little alerts, and David, give him credit, he does a really good job of that. He. Yeah, I think out of all the DLM I've played with, I don't know if I've ever been with one that is down in a three-point stance and sees as well as he does. He'll, he'll be yelling bird, he'll be yelling rabbit, kind of telling us, you know, what he thinks the play is going to be. Uh, he's got his run keys, his pass keys, and, and he's as vocal as anybody. So getting to work with him that way, same way we work with the DBs in the back end, um, it's kind of vital to the success of a linebacking core and a defense. What can a defensive lineman see that you can't see? Is there, are there things just because of his proximity that he can pick up on that you can't see from where you are? You know, I think... Just because of the view, obviously you can probably see anything, but I'd say they have different keys and they have different things that they are able to really key in and look at pre-snap, you know, maybe someone's stance or okay. how their, you know, their hand, if they lean back a little bit. Now the linebacker can't see that, and I think the great linebackers do see that, but at the same time, at linebacker, you also got to see the whole you're formation. you got to see all things, this, yeah. and if you have time to get to that, cool. Where D-line, you're here, and that's what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think I played some D-line college, even played some for Nielsen over in New Orleans and, um, you know, different different jobs, different different gigs. You know, you don't have to see as much, um, but you better be keyed in on your key and, and ready to roll when it's time. And you, you can get some good uh, good tips. Are there some guys who are better at that than others, identifying those keys just naturally? Yeah. Um, what, I mean, whether it's natural or whether through the work ethic, I mean, I don't know. I haven't been with everybody through the process, but uh, different guys I've been around, definitely, like I said, David's one of the best. He's chirping out there, telling, basically giving me, I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know what I mean? And then you can play a little bit faster. So uh, there's definitely guys that, whether it's a film study, whether it's just something natural that they see, um, that, that pick it up better than others. Going into this weekend um, with the cut down, I know you're, you're good now, but coming into the league, uh, you know, seventh round pick and everything. Do you remember mm -hmm. that kind of the feeling of how you felt when? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, um, it was sad, you know, because in college, it's like you're just this little family. You know what I mean? You got guys, some guys leave now, they got the transfer portal, so that changes everything. But when I was there, it was like, this is your group. You maybe got two transfers a year, but at the end of the day, like, this is us. And, you know, if, if it's not your year this year, if you're not going to be the guy this year, that's all right. Keep working. You got it next year. You know what I'm saying? Um, now in the NFL, it's a little bit different. It's business. There's cuts, and it's tough to see. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I remember when I was a rookie. Yeah, that day I was nervous. I was sitting around the the, the uh, uh, facility all day in the tubs, you know, seeing different guys go, talking with them, praying with them, saying, see you later. Um, Obviously, it's a little different now, but at the end of the day, still, you know, the emotions still come up because you see how hard everybody's worked in this camp, and uh, not just here. You know, everybody's doing that all around the league, and people are putting their best foot out there and, and giving everything they got, and they're chasing a dream. You know what I mean? They got people rooting for them, people that have, you know, helped them grow to be the player that they are. And at the end of the day, I think there's what, like around 3,000 players on the 90 men teams right now. So, out of the however many billion people in the world, you've made it this far, and that's awesome. That's special. Now, keep going. You want to keep chasing, and I hope that every man here gets either to stay here or go somewhere else and, and be a player. But um, yeah, it brings back some emotions, but you know, they got it, God's got it. That day that you were there, that you were sitting around the facility, is there a point that day you know you're safe? Or I mean, are, are you just like there till 9.30 going, yeah. you know, nobody's said go home yet, so. Okay, I, I, I kinda, they kinda said something to me in my last preseason game that basically kinda reassured me. Okay, so you felt pretty But good. at the same time, me and, you know, I had some other guys that were kinda last, last you know, maybe on the bubble, and I was still close, and um, I, I remember just, all the way through the night and one of the guys made it all kind of I don't know it seemed like he was through the next day and it was like you know oh, just so he thought he'd made he, it in no you just don't know like yeah, ah, he's like ah, they haven't told me yes they haven't told me no I don't know you know what I'm saying and me too I finally I went in I was like so I'm still good right you yeah. know what I mean like, you know, like yeah yeah this, this is our group and here's our roster and that's that feels like it would, at some point they should say you've made the team. I feel like it would be more humane. To Maybe say. they will here. Let's go. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I do agree. More humane. Have you talked to anybody or has anybody like kind of talked to you like, what, what should I do? How's the approach? Or not really. No, not really. No, I think it's, it's one of those things that it's everybody tough. knows coming. People don't really want to bring it up, man. You know, it is what it is. But if anybody asks, I'm with them.